Good morning. So uh, following on from my last video, um, we're on packaging um, snippet expander for Debian, or at least uh, for a .deb file. Um, I did a little bit of extra um, homework and stuff last night um, and got it to the point where the Lintian warnings and stuff are not happening anymore. Um, and I also um, got it to the point where some other things like uh, DWZ aren't running and things. So if I look at the log in the Debian VM here, uh, suppress debug package build and DWZ steps for Deb. Um, and I did that in two ways. Um, in the Debian rules, um, I added here a no automatic dbg at sim. I couldn't find any other way of stopping the debug build uh, package from being uh, from being generated. No matter what I use, no, yeah, I used all the different environment variables you're supposed to use and pass them through and all this kind of stuff. Could get it to do the do, so I've just added it here, uh, which passes it right through to um, the uh, DH helper, I guess. Um, I also, as you, as you can see, I put some comments in here in the rules. Um, I also did stop the DWZ thing, which is trying to add debug symbols and stuff, um, but it doesn't seem to be able to. Um, it's just a waste of time. Um, I just put an empty override of the DH DWZ step, uh, which basically turns it off. So um, that's working now. Um, and we don't have any Lintian rule uh, issues now. Um, so if I do a make deb in here, we should see that happen at the end. But while that's running, I'll just mention that then much later last night, basically early in the morning because I couldn't sleep, um, I started working on my laptop and I got it to the point where the dot deb that has now been generated in the CICD uh, build on builds.sourceheart um, is now uploading to the latest tag, the dot deb file. So here you can see the last, I did a few, had to, a few tries um, getting the um, config right for the OAuth for HUT. Um, but I will show you how it's done. So in the build, Debian stable, I had to add some OAuth stuff. Um, and this is for HUT, the command line, command line tool for source HUT, uh, which I install here in the sources by first adding the, um, the source repository. And then during the install task, I go into its checkout, I make it, and then I make install it. And then after that, I've now got um, a command called hut git artifact. Um, and I can do an upload from there. So I devised some way of making sure that I only upload to um, the correct tag. Uh, so what I've done here is after we've done the deb, we've done the make deb here, I create a variable which is grabbing the latest version, sorry, the latest tag. Uh, so that's that, that's the git describe abbreviation, abbreviation zero. I then do like a similar type of thing for what's the file that we've just created and does it have the same version number in the .deb file? So I just list out 
um, the deb file that should have been created. So it should have some format where it's got three parts to the version number and then the Debian extra number. So it would be 1.0.1-1. And the dash one is the sort of Debian package version, as opposed to the actual version of the software. Um, and then I'm just cutting out um, this little version bit here uh, by uh, cutting on the fields, getting the second field, which is obviously that, includes the dash. And then I pipe that through another cut, looking for um, the dash as the delimiter, and I take the first field and that ends up with an SE tag um, deb, which is prefixed with V here, uh, V 1.0.1. Um, and then I just test them. So I just make sure that I did actually get um, the tag from the Git. I did actually get something from looking at the file name. Um, and then I check that they're both the same. And if they are, then I call hot. Um, and I just do hot git artifact upload the file that we just looked at and then the revision I explicitly set um, to the, the git tag that we just grabbed. You don't have to do that, that rev, um, you can you can leave that off and it basically does the same as this. It does a git describe abbreviation zero, um, I check the source. Um, and it gets just the last tag. So it'll just upload your artifact to the last tag. And if for whatever reason, any of these tests don't work, I just say, oh, echo, uh, what do I put up at? No, no matching tag to add deb to. Um, and that's it. And then after that, um, I'm creating an artifact by going back into the other, in, into the, home directory of the build and just um, copy in whatever that file is that snippet expander blah 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 amd64 to um, an amd64 only just dropping out the version of stuff there so that the artifact can be created here um, and that is working so if i look at the last debian stable field here uh, build. And if I go down to the dot deb, if I go actually, if I go to the top of the TGZ, I can then go back and you can see here um, after it's done the build and it's created that file there, um, it's grabbing the tag from git describe. So it now knows that SE tag is version 1.01. .01. Um, and then it looks, does all those commands and ends up with an SE tag deb of v1.01. Test that they're not empty, test that the same. Interestingly, does that escape in there. So did I not quote that? I did. Hmm, didn't know why that. Uh, anyway, it seems to work because then it goes for um, a hard to get artifact upload and then it uploads the file uh, to the same rev that we just grabbed and then goes and renames the stuff. Um, so here we now have artifacts. So we have the deb there. Uh, you can just see at the bottom there, it's a full on hash term, but that's obviously not in much use. You can't easily grab that. So instead, um, if I go back to the summary, so if I look at this latest release, the V1.01, you can see we now have um, not only the TGZ, but the .deb as well. So that's uh, added. Now, what I don't know is what's going to happen when I run the build again, and it says, oh, you've already got that artifact up there. Don't know whether it's going to actually overwrite it or not. It might fail. Um, so I need to test that. But let's go have a look at the uh, Debian thing. So you can see here, we don't have all the Lintian rules anymore that I, I got rid of. 
there's there's a whole load of DWZ that's gone. It's a lot cleaner um, and a lot faster. I also, uh, that's a good point. Um, I did make a small change to the make, make file as well. So in the make file for the deb, uh, I cleaned up the uh, the arguments a little bit. So it's not doing minus us minus uc um, and then the j1 anymore. Um, it seems to work in parallel mode. So got got rid of the j1, and then all those un, uh, unsigned don't un, don't sign things can just be replaced with a no no sign. So I found all these things while I was investigating uh, all the all the ways to stop things happening that I don't want to happen. So that was a little bit of a clean up there, um, which is good. So I am now at a point where I have this dot uh, dev being built. So that's being built here. But I also obviously have that one that was created in CICD. And I'd like to test that and make sure that actually works the same way that this one does. We've already previously tested this one here and I have it installed. Um, and you can see snippet expanders here. It's in the menu. Um, and I can just run it as usual because um, this is one of the ones I installed earlier um, using the actual .deb file on this Debian VM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall it um, and then grab that .deb from the tag uh, and make sure that that installs okay. So I presume it's all up. Well, it's got to be all up and running, but I presume I've got the. Uh, oops. Let's just do a quick grab here. Uh, it's quite early today. All right. Yeah, so I've got the daemon and the expander run in there. So if I use the GUI, can I just turn that off to get it to stop? And I'll also turn off the auto start. So that should get rid of the expander. Yeah, so it's gone. Um, and I want to stop the daemon as well. So I can just do that here. I can only really do that. Well, let's just check whether it's actually turned off, turned off. So auto expand should be off. And auto start is off. And I can do snip expander stop. And then we should find that it really has gone now. Yeah, there's nothing running. That's good. So if I do um, apt search snippet expander, you can see it was installed. Uh, so that's the version I installed from the .deb file. It says your little expandable text snippet helper, Snip text snippets helper. Hmm. Is that right? Text snippets helper. I can't remember if that's what I called. Uh... Is the tagline? Yeah, it is. Okay, fine. Um, just don't know. Doesn't quite ring true. Anyway, coffee. I need coffee. Right. So I want to uninstall that. So at the moment. If I do a find under user of anything beginning with snippet expander, I should find a whole bunch there. So we've got 
some Lintian overrides things. So that's from when I'm building. Uh, so that's probably going to stay there. Uh, but then we've got the man pages, um, the desktop icon file and starter. Um, there are all the icons. And then we have a user share doc. I don't know where that is. So that's something created by a dpackage. Um, and then obviously the binaries. So I want to see whether I can do apt remove snippet expander. Oops. How about sudo? Right, the following package will be removed. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. So if I now look, everything's gone. That's good. Smart. Okay, and presumably it won't be in here. Nope. That's great. Okay. Uh, and I can't obviously. I can't also complete anything there. That's great. Right, so that's it gone. Nicely cleaned up. So uh, let's clean up some of these pages here. Uh, we'll go to the source. Go to the release. Let's pump that up. And then I'll download this dot deb here. At some point I'll link it up on the site itself. I'll do like a little section for how to install it and build it and whatnot. Okay, so that should be installed now, um, downloaded. So if I go here, go into downloads. Actually, can I do this? I'm not sure, it does um, I don't know whether Debian can just do a right click install of dot debs. Knows what it is, obviously. Hmm. Yeah, no. Okay. I don't really want to do it that way anyway. Let's do it. Deb. So should be able to do because I'm doing a manual install. I can do a d package minus i snippet expander blah blah blah. And again, should use sudo. Okay. Um, let's put everything back in place. Snippet expander. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, it auto completed there, which is good. Uh, if I do, well, ping, it should say nope. And if I do auto start, it should say nope. No, it's Damon not running. Of course, nothing's running. Let's uh, let's get it running then. So, super expanded because it hasn't done a refresh yet. The icon's wrong, but the next time uh, I do like a reboot or something that refreshes the icons that are coming. So here we go. So the GUI's working. I could start the daemon. I could say I want it to auto start. Probably need to change that. That probably need to do something whereby if you use the GUI, and it's the first kind of way that you interact, it should just start that but anyway. Um, and let's get the auto expander running as well. Everything looks okay there. Probably should have cleaned out the database first. 
So I should be able to um, check with writer. I should be able to do that. There we go. Smart. Um, and then if I open uh, another app that is there like a text thingy? No. Um, what have we got? Something lighter. There isn't much light in here actually at all. I will oh I'll just use the good you um this. If I go Yep, that's how it worked. I can go down and Actually, what I'll do is I'll look for something that's date stuff. This is something I use every day. If I do that, I'm going to develop in blah, blah, blah. Great. Okay, so that's all working. Smart. So we know that the build in CICD does the job. Um, but... You'll notice that I had to put this deb before the uh, TG said because the deb does it clean and I wouldn't be left with an artifact for the TG said because it's in in the repo. So I'm thinking I might change that around and also change the TGZ so it's got like a version number in it and gets uploaded. We could do that. Probably another time, eh? I also need to update the site um, so that it picks up, so it knows how to download these. Oh, that was something I wanted to do, wasn't it? To see whether it would go bang if this runs again. So I will just do a resubmit. So I'm going to see whether the hot command is going to fail. It's going to take a little while. So while that's doing that, I will have a quick look at um, here. So I don't think I've got the uploaded date of the stuff here, though. No. Okay. Uh, let's do a quick make of everything here. Keep an eye on that. Okay. Right, so that was good. Um, and 
let's see if we can update this. Uh, Debian thing. So, at the moment, this is all happening there because I need to be careful about me. Open there. Take that, we'll put that there, we'll I think what we'll do is for the time being we'll move it up into the out of the repo so we'll do a mv snip expander tgz oh. tgz into there and then down here, that's the artifact. Nicely saved and screwed away. And then in here, we don't need to worry about that. Everything's good. And it does its own clean and all that kind of stuff. Right, how's that build? Still going. Where are we at? Still on the install. It's going to take a while. Okay. Uh, right, so that's that. But what about if we make a version of it, a version version of it? So what I might do is split these things up a little bit. So I might do a oops. Deb upload. Go into the repo again, get the tag, get the tag of the file that we created in the previous task, and try and upload it. And then
Then we made the artifact. I could do similar here. TGZ upload. So it will do the same. We'll do that as the first thing. And then just move that back. Actually, I will copy that back. How's the build going? What section are we on? Okay, we're on the build of the deb at the moment. Okay, so we've got, that's the artifact made there, and the same here. And then I need to do something similar. I need to grab the tag. This is a separate, every time, every task is a separate sort of login. So I need to grab the tag. Hmm. What I could do actually, right. that's the artifact. Let's do that first. In which case, we don't need that there. What we can do. that then it goes in and does the upload And I can clean this up a little bit as well. But it's kind of just working, so that's fine. And then here, it's done, okay. Now, did it upload? 
No, okay. An artifact by this name already exists for this repository. Okay. That's kind of good. Only uploads it once. I'd have to explicitly remove it if I wanted to maybe put a new version in. Which isn't a bad idea. It's a little bit of protection then. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. I won't do any fancy selves. Thinking about looking for it, deleting it, and then letting it upload again. But then that's just churn it for no reason. When it should be the same every time. So I think I will leave that just to fail out. And because I'm going to do this earlier, it's not even affecting that. So, okay, let's do that. So, just a reminder, so what we're now doing on that Debian thing is we're doing the build or the Deb, and then we're going to just try and create the artifact And then try and upload it to Hut, uh, to Source Hut, with Hut. And that's okay. And then for the TGZ. Got the artifact. Now I've got the version. Let's make sure, right? So as long as that version is set, I we found a tag. Um We can what should we do? Well, I guess we can just try and do the same thing. Rename the file though first, obviously, and then try and upload it. That's going to be a actually, I'll do it as all one thing. So, don't need this bit because we're not doing that. We 
then we will go back into the thing where this file is now. And we'll do heart, well, eventually we will do upload of that TGZ with a V in it, I think. Let's check what I've got. Yeah. So that actually matches the tag, whereas that does not. So it's snippet expander v101. That's what we're going to upload to the tag. TG said. But first things first, we need to actually re uh, copy it to the, that name. So now we're in the home directory for the build. We should be able to do CP snippet expander T ooh, TGZ. to snip expander dash dollar se tag dot tgz and we'll just make sure Quoted just in case. Okay, so let's read this again. Go into the, so we've made the DGZ. We're going to go in, copy out the DGZ. For the artifact we're going to get the tag go back into the home directory and say okay if we've got a tag copy the artifact file that we just created into a named version with the tag in it so v 1.01 blah 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 then with hut we're going to upload the artifact called Snippy expander. Right, we could do this a little bit more consistently there because we know the file name format here. We don't have like a dash one and stuff added like we do with the Debian. So we can do a dollar SC tag. So that's the same snippet expander tag rev se tag and then if we don't if we're not able to do any of those we don't want to fail out so we'll just like say hey uh, no matching tag to add tgz to and that should get the upload there and it should all be done before the deb stuff starts reorder those into the order they're made just for consistency okay I think that should work 
share this one after we've done the deb we should have something in the home directory we can copy of course then go into the repository get the version get the version there that way we don't need to complicate that Ah, yes, need to be in the checkout for the hut command to work. Oh, I nearly messed that up. Okay, that's why that does a dot, dot dot. So in here, we want to stay in the snippet expander checkout so we do not want to do a back we want to do hmm. we will actually have that file there So we're actually quite good. We can use the original. We only copied it back, the artifact. So we can, in the repo, just do that. And I'll just update the, um, I don't need to. I just want to make sure there's no extra artifacts around when I get to this point of making the dead and then does the clean. So I will put in a little wool to make sure that this gets cleaned. So that in theory should work. I'm just going to copy the original TGZ to a, ver a named version, upload it, and be done. Okay, and then I want to update the git ignores here. Oh, I already got it in. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, all TGZs are going to be excluded. All right, we'll give that a go now. So I'll automatically add the TGZ artifact to latest release tag. Now delete these things then and we'll see if this works
So if I go back in here just to make sure it's gone. Okay. Okay. That's also going to take a little while. So I think we're all good there. Um, on the Debian side of things, I think we're good as well. No, it's not synced. Oh. That's close enough. Uh, and then make and make test. Make clean, make clean, or make and make test. Make teachers ed. That's there, okay. Now, if I do make deb, it'll obliterate that, I think. Yeah, it gets rid of everything. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it's in parallel. So presumably it's already built. So that just built that at 54. And then on X. Yeah, because it does it out of order, because I've got the parallel back and running, so it's a little bit quicker. Um, and then, so it'll be easier over here, if you see. Uh, yeah. And there's the dip, so that's fine. 
Okay. Is this still running? It is. It'll take a little while. Once it gets past the uh, the teacher's head, then I'll be done. Uh, don't need to wait for the rest. Uh, and that should be soon. And then I'll call it a day and uh, go do some work. Getting there. And then I think, assuming this works, I think I'm basically done with the dot deb. I'll call it a day on that. Um, I have a, an artifact that can be used and it's on the tags. So it will just be a case of um, making sure it's available via the website. Um, so I just need to add that. To that. Okay. Right, so doing a quick test now. Again, oh, that'll take a minute or so as well because of the uh, XVB, XVFB. Should be done very, very, very soon. Come on. Okay. Now it should be switched into the TGZ stuff. Oh, it's gone right past it. So. Right, look, it's passed, so the TGZ had nothing to do because everything was made and tested. Then it made it, and then on the upload, got the version in right. And uploaded the artifact in theory. So if I refresh this, it's there. Cool. If I download that, XZBF Snippet Expander Should get a whole bunch of stuff in this folder There we go And that looks good If I do Snippet Expander Ping What? Oh, <laughs> I'm on Nix. <laughs> oh, this is a Debian build. That's such a binary, like a normal. It's not a Nix version. That's fine. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, I can remove all these snippet expander things. Yeah. Whereas 
if I go here and refresh this page. Oh, it's done it already. Hold on, let's just check the build. Right, so that's finished. Uh, and yep, it's done the upload. So on here, I should see that as well. Yep, so that's there. Got the right name. Um, and if I download that, that. Just uh, show that. Okay. Get rid of the old binary there, which looks the same. I'll just rename that one. So, um, I XVR, just slip expand every thank you. If I run that, it should work. Yes, I should be able to see things like list of snippets. It does that's great. Okay. Um, and then I should be able to do a d package minus i snippet blah 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 sudo cool Looks good. Smart. I think we're done. Uh, time for work. So uh, thanks for well, la, 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 la. start again. Thanks for watching. Um, until next time, when I will probably be just working on the site just to make sure that stuff is exposed um but i think i'm kind of done with the deb as is it's there maybe in the future um i will submit submit it to debian i will actually go through the work of building a proper debian packaging thing um maybe not maybe i'll let someone from the debian community do that but at the moment, I have something that should be installable. So I'm going to fix up the site so it tells people about that. Um, and also give it a good test. Um, install it into Clean Debian VM, uh, Ubuntu. Um, make sure it works there as well. See how that goes. But that's future work. So until then, um, take care. Bye.